daisy fix. Yes, I've donned another Hawaiian shirt, as I did in this video up here when I made a pina colada. But no, I'm not making that mistake again. I know that this isn't tropical, but frankly, I feel like I'm on holiday because today I am making a mojito. Oh, don't you just love it? I love it. I love mint, I love lime, I love the zing, I love the freshness. I love the effects, I love a good mojito. So I'm gonna show you my way of doing it today. Two glasses, nice big tall, long tumbler glasses. We are going to start by popping in half a lime into each one, diced into a further four sections. Each of those limes, these segments are gonna squeeze it and drop it in. Squeeze it. Oh my God, my left hand's so much weaker than my right. Now, what's brilliant here is that we're bursting open all of those gorgeous juices inside the lime, but you've also got the skin of the lime, which has loads of oils on and loads of the fragrance as well. So that's great that that's in there. To each of those, we are going to add two teaspoons of sugar. Now this is the part that's a little bit down to personal preference. If you prefer a sweeter mojito, feel free to add more. But I find that two teaspoons is bang on for my liking. We don't really have the bar equipment you need to do cocktails and that's just me. Maybe you are very well equipped, but if you're not and you don't have a muddler, just get yourself some sort of heavy-ended instrument. I've just got here a bog-standard blunt table knife and I'm just gonna use that to squish all of that sugar and lime together. Keep bursting all those capsules. Then obviously, what is a mojito without mint? I've got beautiful fresh mint dotted around my kitchen today. Isn't it lovely, all floral. We need 12 leaves per glass. So I'm just gonna pick those up, one, two, three, four. And before you put your mint in, always spank it. I didn't need the dramatic pause then, it made it dirty. <laughs> but seriously though, give your, give your mint a Good. It basically bruises the leaves and releases the natural oils. And as soon as you spanked it, oh my God, the smell, just that beautiful fresh mint just absolutely fills the air. So that's going into the glass. Back on our homemade, totally safe muddler. I'm just going to push that down into the lime juice as well. Not too aggressively, because we don't want to really damage the leaves that much. A cocktail isn't at its finest unless if it is served cold. So we're gonna add the ice, but rather than just putting cubed ice in, I'm actually gonna put some crushed ice in. How do you make crushed ice? <laughs> you crush it. Whoa, game-changing stuff going on in Kitty Fix Kitchen today. <laughs> a couple of handfuls into a clean tea towel. Don't go doing your dishes and then doing this. Wrap it up. And you can either go for two, one of two approaches. You can grab it and you can really let out some aggression and just go for a Ugh! Or, so that your mum doesn't yell at you for boshing her surfaces, get a rolling pin, just give it a good old smack. I feel like I should be saying don't try this at home, but, but do, because it's a really good stress relief. Lovely. So there we have our beautiful crushed ice in there. So I'm going to half fill the glass with crushed ice. Oh, it's really cold. And then to that, I've got a shot glass here. Now this, although it looks all fancy, is a bog standard shot glass. Normally when you take a shot, you don't fill up to the top, do you? Well, this time we're going to put a full total shot of rum into this one. But that's going to go into our mojito. Back with your muddler, this time just giving it a really nice stir. Get all of those ingredients going. We're gonna to top it up with some whole ice. The kitchen is getting warm, so my ice is somewhat melted. Top it up, fill it up the rest of the way, all the way up with ice. And then we're just gonna to top it up with some soda water. There you go. And there you have one of my absolute favorite summer drinks. Super delicious, super fresh, super zingy, super minty, perfect mojito. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I 
I'm sat by the pool. I'm reading a magazine. Birds are cheeping. If you like this recipe, why not give it a thumbs up? If you want to watch some more, then I make recipes every single Tuesday. Until next time, make sure you subscribe and I will see you then. <laughs>